Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've made myself a cup of coffee and I wanted to do a super chilled video today. Um, I wanted to make some inspiration on how to build a visual wardrobe and I know that I've done a lot of variations of these types of videos in the past but it's still I think the most asked question at least over on my DMs on Instagram and via email. I still get so many questions about what apps I use and if I have any other recommendations on how you can build a visual overview of your wardrobe. So I'm here today to make a completely new video all about this and I have a little something for all types of budgets, all types of technical skills, so really I hope there's something for everyone in this video. If you have been a long time follower you know that I used to actually work a lot with Polywar. Polywar was this amazing website where you could actually do exactly what today's video is about, where you could build visual wardrobe overviews, you could build visual outfits and just get inspired and all of these overviews would have like clickable images so you could be redirected to different sorts of websites. So really it was a library with a lot of different fashion items. Like I, I think you could find pretty much anything in there and then create collages and put in some text and just make a lot of unique and inspiring fashion content. Um, and yeah, sadly it was a platform that was shut down. I think it must have been like three or four years ago now. Is it already three years ago? I think so, anyway. Um, and I know that a lot of people were super bummed when Polywar shut down, and I think that there's some sort of a substitute out there probably for Polywar, but I just personally turned elsewhere. I started looking into wardrobe apps and other ways that I could create these visual wardrobe overviews. So let's start with a few apps that I wanted to mention in today's video. I've actually written a blog post a couple of years ago with three different wardrobe apps. So in case you want to see what the difference is between these three different apps, then I'll link that blog post down below for you. So my all-time favorite visual wardrobe app has to be Clatwell. I've mentioned this app many times here on my channel before. It's the app that I always mention in my videos. It's the app that you guys always ask me, what app was that again? It's Clatwell. Um, the thing with Clatwell is that I've been a bit confused in terms of the pricing of this app because to begin with, it was um, a subscription-based app. And then suddenly they turned it into a free app. But now when I look at their um, official website, I can see that there are different sorts of subscriptions within the app still. And I don't know if it's like add-ons that you can buy additionally. So some pros about Cladwell is, you know, the reasons why I love this app is because it's so incredibly easy to use. You don't even have to take pictures of your entire wardrobe and put within the app. You can just choose items from a library that they have within the app and then choose items that are very similar to what you already have in your wardrobe. If you can't find it in the library, you can easily find pack shot images online. So if I were looking for, say, a black blazer, which is very likely for you to be able to find in the app, but if I wasn't able to find a black blazer that kind of most as what I had in my wardrobe, I would just go online, search for black blazer and then find a pack shot um, preferably something on a white background so that it will blend in really nicely together with all of the rest of the items in the app. Otherwise I download an app, an additional app to remove the background. I'm just weird like that. I like things to look neat and tidy and really inspiring like that. Um, and then I just create my wardrobe like that, my visual wardrobe. And then the cool thing is that app Cloudwell can actually create auto-generated outfits for you, which I think is pretty cool. Um, especially if there's an item in my wardrobe that I tend to wear the same way over and over again. It's nice to be able to see the different outfit combinations that the app suggests. So it's a great tool to help you play around with your wardrobe, be creative with what you have, which is the whole goal, at least for me, and you know, in building a lasting and sustainable wardrobe is to use what we have more creatively. So that's one app that I definitely love, not only for creating visual wardrobe overviews and get inspiration for new outfits. I love using it for packing as well if I'm going away on a vacation. If I do a 10 by 10 challenge, I like to create a little capsule collection with 10 items and then have a look at the many different outfit combinations that the app suggests. So it's a great app for many different reasons. Um, I think it was last year they also extended the app with sort of like a social community so you can upload pictures of your outfit and then show the Cladwell overview next to it just so people can see how like you know here's the visual overview of that outfit and here's what it looks like in a in, in on a person um, which I think is pretty cool so they tried to sort of make it into a social community 
I tend not to really use that part of the app as much myself. I tend to only use it for outfit combinations, visual overviews, you know, what the whole point was from the beginning. I tend to still use the app mostly for that. So one of the biggest um, cons about the Cloudwell app is that it's not available for Android. So if you're looking for something else, very similar to Cloudwell, but something that's compatible with Android and iOS, then look no further than for Stylebook. It's a very similar app. It's free as well, completely free. Um, and I would say that it's sort of like a simplified version of Cloudwell. So as far as I know, they don't have a library where you can just pick and choose items that are similar to what you have in your wardrobe. So you kind of have to add the items yourself. But instead of taking pictures of my entire wardrobe, again, I would just go online, find pack shots of everything, remove the background if needed in some sort of an additional app. Maybe you could actually do that within the Stylebook app. I must admit, I'm not, I haven't used the app so much that I would know. And then I would just add items like that into my visual wardrobe. So it takes a bit more time than the Cladwell, but again, it's also free and it's compatible for um, for Android as well. So the Stylebook app also has a feature called packing so you can make actual packing lists. It has a calendar where you can plan out your outfits for the week or the month even. It also has something called stats where you can see how much you've been um, wearing certain items in your wardrobe if you remember to keep up with the statistics anyway. Um, again, I myself have the tendency to only use th these sorts of apps creatively. I don't sit and like register my outfits like that from day to day. But if you are that type of person, if you really want to get your shopping habits under control, then that might be a very useful feature for you. So those are the apps that I wanted to mention, something you can bring with you on the go and that you can access no matter where you are, because most of us have our phones pretty nearby every single day. And apps like these especially come in handy if you are out shopping or whatever it might be and you, you feel tempted, you can like add an item to the wardrobe. If you're if, if there's something that you're contemplating buying, you can add it to your visual wardrobe overview on the go and just have a look at how it will look with what you already have. And if it's adding on to your wardrobe or if it's just sort of like a standalone piece that you won't be wearing all that much, maybe you shouldn't buy it. So it's a great tool, both for creating new outfit combinations and just have a better overview of your wardrobe, but definitely also to get your shopping habits under control. So next up, I wanted to mention a few tools that you can use on your computer. So like I mentioned in the beginning, I used to love Poly War and I used to always like spend time on my computer building different outfits in Poly War. Some great alternatives to Poly War, something you can do yourself, is actually PowerPoint. And most people have PowerPoint on their computer if you have the, um, what's that called? Like the, is it like the Word? the word package on your computer. Um, and it's super simple. I would just create a simple slideshow with no background or anything. Of course, you can lay out it as exactly as you want. You can even um, change the dimensions of the, of the whole layout and everything. But I would just create a completely blank PowerPoint space and then place pictures. Again, I would find them online, find pack shots online of say again, a black blazer, a pair of blue jeans, a white t-shirt place them in the PowerPoint presentation. And then there's actually a tool within PowerPoint called um, Remove Background. So when you've placed an image in the PowerPoint, you can click on the image and then you'll be able to click Remove Background. Um, and you can adjust it yourself if the tool doesn't um, do a very great job automatically. But again, it removes the background super simply, especially if it's, again, a pack shot where the background sort of has the same color and then you can place the items on top of each other, do a bit of an overlay, create outfits, again create a, a whole wardrobe, create your entire wardrobe by just finding similar items online, maybe even find the exact same items online if you're able to still find them on various web shops and if it's just for personal use I think it's pretty safe in terms of copyright and things like that. So yeah that's another really easy way to create a visual wardrobe overview on your computer. Another thing that I enjoy doing is to use Photoshop. And I know that most people don't have um, neither the Photoshop like program on the computer because it's obviously not free. And uh, most people also don't have the skills because it is kind of like a heavy program. I have the whole um, like creative cloud package on my computer. So I use Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, Lightroom, all of those like creative programs on my computer because I 
have worked a lot in, in those programs when I used to work as a designer. So I know all of the programs very well and I, I just love using them. And I think it's a matter of taste and knowledge and skills maybe um, because really, you know, the wardrobe overviews that I usually publish on my blog and on Pinterest are made in Photoshop. But then um, again, you could create something very similar in, in PowerPoint if you have the skills for that. So it's a matter of taste and like habit, I guess. For some of the overviews that I've made in the past, I've made many wardrobe overviews and published them on my blog and on Pinterest in the past. On many of those, I have found items, you know, both online, similar to what I already have in my wardrobe or the same as I, as I have in my wardrobe. And then I will link to those items. And then sometimes I will also take photos of the exact items that I have in my wardrobe if I'm not able to find a version online that's very similar to what I might have. Some of the items I have in my wardrobe are super old. Again, I'm really evolving my whole style around this lasting style and really holding on to items in my wardrobe for as long as possible. So I have items that are maybe like 10 years old and I'm not able to find something exactly the same online. And if that's the case, I'll just take a picture either with my camera or with my phone. I'll make sure to take it in somewhere where there's a lot of like natural light and then I'll put it into Photoshop. Maybe I'll play around with the exposure a bit, the shadows just to make it look more um, visible and then I will remove the background. But if you want to spare the extra workload, I would definitely just see if I could find some images online of these things. Again, especially if it's something that I'm just using for my private use and not something that I'm gonna share anywhere. So I think that is all of the techniques that I wanted to mention in today's video. Some techniques that I've tried out myself, some apps that I've tried out myself and that I love using. And yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I think a lot of us have some extra spare time, especially right now with what's going on in the world and everything. I think many of us have some extra spare time and we might, you know, look for inspiration on things to do. So what better opportunity to declutter your wardrobe, create a visual wardrobe overview, start playing around with your style and outfits and just have some fun with your wardrobe, even if you're not going anywhere. I find that really uplifting personally because I love style, I love fashion and I love playing around creatively with my favorite wardrobe items. And yeah, these tools are definitely helpful in that whole process. So that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and not too much of a repetition. Um, if anything, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for a while and I will be back on Sunday with another video. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a lovely day, be safe, and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.